hey guys I thought I'd uh, do a video and I've been wanting to do a video on coping with losing your teeth and happen to get dentures whether it be a young age an older age you know it's hard it, it really does take a toll on you psychologically um, I started um, all my life I've I've had treatment through a dentist you know I had braces as an adult I've always taken care of my teeth and you know I know people that have not stepped foot in a dentist office and have and don't don't have one cavity and I often wonder if when you start going to a dentist you know if that opens you up for developing infection and bacteria and your teeth start once they start getting in there and doing stuff does that make things worse um maybe not maybe i'm being paranoid but you know like i said i know people personally that have never been to a dentist not one day in their life and their teeth are fine it's something to think about it does make you wonder but on coping with losing your teeth you know i had um issues with my back teeth i had several cavities um several fillings they started getting so bad to where they couldn't be saved so it started out with me losing my back teeth and then i lost so many that i was chewing on what i had left um the bottoms and then the fronts and then that made my front teeth started to become loose and they start chipping and i never will forget I had very few teeth left up here, and I was uh, on a paper route delivering papers one morning, eating a chicken tender, and I bit into it, and one of my front teeth fell out. I was so upset, I had to pull over, call my fiance, um, freaking out, I mean hysterical, and uh, you know, he said, you know, Stephanie, there's nothing it's done there's nothing you can do about it um you know you just have to go and see what can be done to fix it so um i started off with a partial i had i think maybe four teeth in the front and a crown over here and i would usually just wear the partial for when i was going out i never tried or never learned how to eat with it and that's one thing that's important is when you get dentures is making sure you keep them in. That's the only way you're going to get used to it. Only way you're going to get used to having something foreign in your mouth, learning how to talk, learning how to chew, is to just wear them as much as possible. Um, but coping, you have to reach out to someone that is going through what you are going through for me that made all the difference in the world knowing that i'm not alone there are people out there that have gone through similar things that i have that are going through similar things as me and i can talk to them joining the support groups on facebook doing these videos has helped me tremendously because i can talk about what's on my mind um and most of the time, there's people out there that share the same thing, you know, or that are going through some things that I'm going through. Um, when people comment, that helps. Um, but, you know, that's for anything that we're going through in our life. Um, I've had, I've not had the easiest life. Um, a lot of that, I think, was brought on myself just by situation. Uh, situations i've put myself in that have not been the best and the only thing that has helped me get out of it and get my life back to somewhat normal is by having support going um there for a while i was actually going to support groups three times a week um and that was led by a therapist this is a, a personal part of my life, but I just want to share it because I want you guys to know that there is hope um, and there's ways to cope. But being in there, talking about what I'm going through, knowing that there's other people going through the same thing, 
and then also the therapist giving giving you certain um, certain things you can do um, to cope helped. Um, when you finally get your teeth pulled and get your dentures, okay. I know it's hard getting to that point, but um, once you are out of, I'm, I'm trying to think here. Once you're out of pain, you can finally smile again. Your confidence grows. Your self-esteem grows. Um, things do get better. Um, especially if you were like me, I went without teeth for so long. I couldn't smile. I didn't want to go out. I especially, you know, um, hated going out to eat with uh, my fiance because... I had to, I felt embarrassed, even though he never said anything to put me down or, or never made me feel any less. I myself felt that way. Um, just no confidence. Walking with my head held low. Um, depression, anxiety, um, just terrible. Once I finally got the implants and got my plate, the day of surgery, when I got home and smiled and looked at myself, and I was like, wow. Um, and this is coming from a person that's got low self-esteem. I've had low self-esteem all my life. I've been bullied. I was bullied in school, made fun of. Um, I've been through abusive relationships. Um, cheated on in almost every relationship I've been in. That throws your self-esteem way down. It's like, am I not good enough? Um, but when I finally got, had my surgery and got my temporary plate, it all started going uphill after that. It did take some time, but here we are almost a year since I've had my surgery. And I am more self-confident, more self-confident now than I have ever been in my life. My self-esteem has grown. I feel good about myself. I like to smile. Matter of fact, yesterday um, at work, one of the ladies I work with um, asked me, "How do I get my? How do my? How? What do I do to my teeth to get them so white?" And I said, "Well, they're not mine." Um, and I didn't even think about it. I just told her, um, and the self confidence in me now makes it to where I'm not going to just go out and tell people that, hey, I've got false teeth or I've got dentures. But if someone asks me, I'm confident enough now to tell them, hey, it, they're not mine. Um, and then she started asking questions. She wanted to know how much it costs and this and that, but she said they're beautiful. Um, so, but I kind of went off on a tangent here. You have to reach out to people. Reach out to me. Um, if you're getting ready to have your E-Day and get dentures and you're scared and you don't know what to expect, get involved in, the, in these support groups on Facebook. So many people have been where you are. Ask questions. Nothing. No question you ask is a stupid question. Um, be confident. In the, in the dentist that's going to do your surgery. If you go in for a consultation and you're not sure about them, then don't, don't stay there. Go and have a consultation with another dentist until you are comfortable with the person that's going to be um, uh, operating on you. Um, this is your well-being, your livelihood. You know, you have to be able to eat. So... I'm not going to um, continue yapping, but I just want to tell you that I know what you're going through. It does get better. You will have more confidence. Just think about no more pain. You don't have to worry about not being able to go out and smile. You, you'll be able to smile again. You'll be able to eat again, anything you want. You're not going to be limited to soft foods like I was for two years. You know, I couldn't chew anything. Now I can eat just about whatever I want. So, reach out to me. 
reach out to some of these. Margaret on Denture Talk is fabulous. She's been through a lot. I could, Amanda, I could, uh, Amanda Berry has been through a lot. I could sit here and name a ton of people. Those two have YouTube channels too. Um, and I know that they will answer any questions that you have if you reach out to them. Me as well. So I hope you guys have a great day. Um, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Week's almost over. Um, thank you guys for supporting me. I'm here to help. I'm going to put my Facebook um my Facebook page, I will put that in the description. So, if you don't feel comfortable commenting on here, you can message me personally. Um, and also, I'm doing a giveaway for anyone that subscribes. Um, I'm going to give away a $100 gift card or a gift card of your choice once I reach 500 subscribers. And then, I'm going to give away another $100 gift card, Visa gift card, or gift card of your choice once I reach 1,000 subscribers. Only way to win is to subscribe. So, you guys have a great day. Again, reach out to me or um, somebody um, and talk and talk talk about it. Um, see you guys later.